today i'll be showing you how to cut the danshiki for the man now this measurement is for a baby so it's going to be a small measurement now when you're folding for the length there'll be no joining at the edge here so you're going to be folding into two to get your front and the back block and your shoulder will be on this point or there'll be no joining so you're folding lengthwise and then the length of the baby is 18 inches plus two inches same allowance so the two inches will be used in top stitching the m line so you're going to mark 20 like that and then you cut this out so his body is 28 inches when you divide by four that gives you seven so you're going to be folding to seven okay so you just adjust so if it's somebody of uh, 40 inches chest you divide 40 by 4 and you get 10 so here is 7 plus half inch seam allowance that's 7 and a half okay so you're going to also cut the, the, the width that's the circumference out for the neckline for the neckline you're going to for the length, we're using three inches, three inches, and then for the width, I'm using one three quarter, one three quarter inch, and then you curl. Now you're also going to. This is for the front length, neck length. For the back length, you're just going to measure one inch, like this. So the first thing to do is to, oh sorry, it shifted at the back. So the first thing to do is to first cut out the neck length for the back. You cut it together, then you notch the shoulder point like this, and then you open up. You open up like this so that you don't mistakenly cut the neck length, the depth for the back as the front. You know, so you just separately cut the front neckline. So this is what you have, like this. this. Is what you have. So you can then slash with about four inches, so that the baby's head can enter into the dress. Just slash by four inches. So now you're going to cut the facing for the neckline you can see the neckline you're going to slash the center by four inches the center of the front and so you cut out the facing that's the shape of this neckline and you also you know you slash a bit not to the edge you just slash close to the edge so now to cut the the side pattern for danshiki the sleeve is what completes the other you know is what makes it um is what adds allowance to it to make it that big it's not a fitted um, stuff for a man so you measure the, the sleeve for this child is four inches so i added two inches extra as a seam allowance that would, you know you'll be top stitching 1.5 here and use half inch to join it to the main bodies so this is how you're going to be sewing the sleeve is also the remaining part of the dress that makes it bulky and look like the danshiki we know so you're going to be sewing half inch all the way up like that so you join that into the shoulder and then to the other end now so on both sides we'll do that now so i've sewn my neckline to it and you've slashed with four inches on the front block so you make sure you you turn you know you notch round like this and then you know, your, your facing goes into you know, into the block into the back okay. so you're going to iron the neckline round for it to lay so that's the finishing look for the neckline you see it's round so we're going to do the professional embroidery round it i'm going to take it out and then i'll show you how to finish up the sides for your dress Done the professional embroidery on the neckline of the bag.
the Lord to cover these views. We are going to cut, measure the length of the tree, and then we leave about, we add about one inch allowance here. So the length by double of this, so this is three inches here. So when you double it, that's six inches. So you throw that point, and then you iron your S2. So we are going to push this out. it out like this okay and then now we're going to put it under the flap just raise one and then put it on like this so we're going to be throwing like this that is going to be in between the opening so we're going to cut each one side to the flap just one side make sure you put it away so that you can even open it up like this and then throw one side. Then you put your first button on the other end. Put the first button, put it on the other end. And once that is done, you're now going to fold in, fold your drop to the wrong side. Like this. And then you mark your slit circumference. You just add about two inches to it to make it two. Okay, so you can use it about six inches here, and then you just throw quarter or half inch down. You can also do the same for this side. You just throw quarter down. So that's all about the bag. That's the finished product. So that's it.